Conor McGregor finally got back to fighting on Friday as he broke up a brawl between two bare-knuckle fighting championship contenders at a weigh-in. McGregor is a minority owner of BKFC and was present as Franco Tenaglia and Tony Soto met ahead of their light heavyweight title match. But chaos broke out when Tenaglia provoked his opponent by putting his fist under his chin, causing Soto to swing at him and leading McGregor and several others to step in. The former UFC champ reveled in the violence as he lifted up a BKFC belt and clapped his hands. The scuffle did not last long or escalate very much, as Tenaglia and Soto were quickly separated. McGregor, who has not fought since 2021, surfaced recently at Arsenal's Emirates Stadium after their Champions League win over PSG. He enjoyed a kickabout with Gunner stars Bukayo Saka and Declan Rice following the 2-0 win. McGregor's last appearance in the Octagon saw him lose to Dustin Poirier in his trilogy bout at UFC 264 and suffer a broken leg. He was also scheduled to fight Michael Chandler in June, but that fight was scrapped after he broke a toe in his left foot during training. There are hopes that the 36-year-old could return to the ring next year. For now, he'll remain on the sidelines and possibly watch Tenaglia and Soto's title fight. Their bout will go down this Sunday in Marbella.